With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. The question is which one of the following behaves as both nucleophile and an electrophile? If we talk about nucleophile, it is represented as NU minus. So nucleophiles are electron rich species, right? Nucleophiles are electron rich species, whereas electrophiles are electron deficient species, right? These are electron deficient species. So, nucleophiles can be the species which are negatively charged or the species that can donate through their lone pairs, right? So, the species that have a lone pair of electron or have a negative charge can act as nucleophiles. Whereas, if you talk about electrophiles, these are the species that are positively charged or which are electron deficient and can act as Lewis acids can be regarded as electrophiles, right? If we talk about acetone here, now acetone is CH3, C double bond O, CH3. Now here, oxygen has two lone pair of electrons on its oxygen atom basically. So it can donate through, the, uh, it can donate the lone pair of electrons and therefore it can behave as a nucleophile, right? Now if you talk about this carbon here, now as it is attached to oxygen, oxygen is uh, electronegative in comparison to oxygen, uh, sorry, carbon. Oxygen is electronegative in comparison to carbon, therefore carbon is going to have a delta positive charge due to which this can act as a electrophilic center right due to which this carbon can act as an electrophilic center so basically if you talk about acetone then acetone can act as an electrophile as well as a nucleophile right so oxygen is going to have a delta negative charge also also it has lone pairs through which it can donate and therefore it can act as a nucleophile whereas if you talk about this carbon it has a delta positive charge and therefore it can act as a electrophile, right? Uh, it will act as an electrophile so that nucleophile can attack at this position and electrophile can attack at this position. It means that when oxygen is going to donate, it is going to donate to an electrophile. So, it acts as a nucleophile because of this oxygen and an electrophile because of this positive charge on the carbon. So, therefore, option 1 that is acetone can act as an electrophile as well as a nucleophile, right? If you talk about cyanide ion, this is CN negative. So, therefore, there is a negative charge. It is going to act as a nucleophile. So, this cannot be the answer. Nitrite ion is NO2 minus. Again, a negative charge. It will behave as a nucleophile. Cannot be the answer. Sulfite ion is SO3 2 minus. Again, a negative charge is going to act as a nucleophile, not as an electrophile. Therefore, the correct answer is option 1. That's all for the question. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.